So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Figure Eye Standard Model Kit Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Broly. So let's get into it right away and start off with the box. So we do get a basic style box for the Figure Eye Standard line. So on the top here it says Dragon Ball Z, Figure Eye Standard, Funimation and Toy Animation stickers. Then we do get a badass image of Broccoli there. On the bottom here it says Plastic Model Kit, Legendary Super Saiyan Broccoli, and Bandai. And then here is the bottom of the box with a bunch of really dope poses you can get the figure into along with his accessories. Then the top of the box here does have a little bio of Broccoli there. Then it does show all the other figures in the model kit line. Then here is the one side of the box with a badass image of Broccoli. And then the other side of the box does have a dope image of the model kit all built. Then the back of it has nothing on it at all. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure over to take a closer look at one of the most badass characters ever created in Dragon Ball Z. Alright, so right when you open the box, we do get an instruction sheet on how to build this model kit here. And then behind that, we do get a bunch of different bags with all types of parts and pieces of the actual model kit. So let me build this Broly quickly so we can take a closer detailed look at the figure. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look and that is how quickly I did build this figure. But I think Figure I Standard really did kill it. With this Broly, of course, they're model kits, so there is no type of paintwork on them whatsoever. If you do add paint to these, these figures would just be that much better and look so much more awesome on your display shelf. But for what it is, uh, they really did an awesome job, and it's extremely fun putting these figures together. The sculpt of the face, I think, turned out excellent on this Broly here and I love the way you put the eyes together and it just looks so good on the face there. The one thing I don't really like is the stickers. I think it makes the figure the figures look ugly like how his earrings have the stickers on there but that's really the only spot that has stickers on this figure. I think the hair looks great. I love the way they did the hair with all the sculpted lines all throughout it. I think that looks really dope. They really did do a very nice job with the hair. The back of it looks cool and it is a little sharp so just be careful of that. But very cool looking uh, just on the head sculpt there. Uh, one thing I'm not a fan of with model kits, I, I, the plastic is a little more fragile compared to what we get with like SH figure arts and stuff. So you do need to be a little more, more cautious with these figures because they can break if you're not careful. Alright, so now moving on to the torso here. The necklace, I think, turned out dope. And I love how we get a translucent, like, teal or bluish type color for all the gems on his gauntlets, his boots, uh, right around the uh, waist here. I don't know what this piece is. It's I guess it was from his shirt or something, if he did have a shirt. And then the, the piece from the necklace. The sculpt of the necklace looks good. And I do love the translucent plastic for the gems there. And then the sculpt of the torso I think turned out fantastic. They did a really good job with it, especially around the neck there. That just looks sick. The way you connect some of the pieces, it blends in very well too. Like it looks like the muscle definition, which is something I do like about this figure line. Then the back here, this is something some people might not like. You do see a lot of gaps on the back and you do see it throughout the figure here and there, which I know a lot of people won't be a, a big fan of, you know what I mean? But the back of it, I, I think it turned out decent. It, it, it's not the greatest, it's not the worst, but it, it, looks, it looks okay, you know what I mean? And then the arms, I think, turned out pretty good. I just don't like the way these pieces won't fully seal. That's another thing with this figure. Some pieces, I couldn't get them to fully seal, so you do see more gaps on it. I don't know if it's just mine or if other people have that issue as well, but... The arms turned out really good, the sculpt of him and everything, the elbow joint blends in very nice on this figure. Then we do get the gauntlets, which look dope, and then we do have the gem right there, which also looks dope. And then, I don't want to call it a skirt, but that's what it kind of looks like. They did a very nice job with it, the sculpt of it turned out really good, the gold piece with the gem looks great, the piece around the waist turned out really nice also. And the pieces on the bottom, they're all individually uh, articulated the front piece, the two side pieces, and the back piece, but the sculpt of it turned out really good on all of them. And like I said, if you add shading or wash or something on this figure, it's going to make this Broly look even more dope. Uh, the pants look look very good with the sculpted wrinkles all throughout them and everything. The knee joints look okay. They even have some sculpted wrinkles on them as well. And then the lower portion here, very nice job on the boots with the gem and everything, and very nice sculpted wrinkles on the uh, the top of the foot right there. And just, I, I like the way the uh, the golden uh, maroon look. Very nice job all around 
on the detail on this figure, even though there is no paint on it whatsoever. I think Figure Eyes really did an awesome job with uh, the sculpt on this Broly model kit. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we really don't get too much included with this Broly, and I do wish that they included some sort of blast effect. They could have at least included that so what we do get with Broly for the figure himself he does come with two interchangeable faces then he does come with two more interchangeable faces one for the Super Saiyan Goku and one for the Super Saiyan Vegeta so for Broly we get the smirking smiling face here which is probably my favorite out of the two and the sculpt of it looks really good and I, I always love the way you put the eyes together on these model kits because it always comes out really great I just hate the stickers on the earrings there so we do get that one, and then we do get the yelling, screaming face here. Kind of looks like a crazy laughter, actually. And uh, once again, the eyes, you did the same thing. I love the way you put the eyes together. Same with the mouth. I just hate putting the sticker on the uh, tongue there and on the earrings once again. But this one does look pretty cool, too. And the way you interchange them, you got to pull up the top of his hair, and then you got to pop it right on the head there, and then you just pop the hair right back on it. It's pretty simple to do it. Then when you want to switch about, take that off, pop the face off, pop the one on. And then there you go. So we do get those two faces for Broly. And then we do get these two faces, one for Goku and one for Vegeta. And the faces for Goku and Vegeta, it is for the Super Saiyan versions of them. And it is like they're in pain type face. So here is the Goku one. You do have to put the sticker on the tongue. I do like the uh, the plastic they use for the Super Saiyan hair, though. I like the way it looks on the eyebrows, but the sculpt of it does uh, look pretty good. So there's the Goku one, and then we do get the Vegeta one, which I like a little bit better. I think I think that one looks pretty cool. So those are all the faces included with Broly. Then we do get this little peg and clip piece here, which is meant for a stand, but he he doesn't he doesn't come with a stand. I guess you have to buy it separately. So we do get that, and then we finally get four interchangeable hands. So we do get a pair of fists, of course, and the sculpt of these uh, are decent. You can see the uh, thumbnail sculpted on there, and the fingers look pretty good. I just hate how they don't sculpt the side of the hands there. I mean, this side looks a little bit better. They could have done a little more sculpt work around the pinky, but over here uh, looks pretty bad. And all the hands, of course, are simple to swap out since they're on a ball peg. So we do get a pair of fists. And then lastly, we do get a pair of open hands here. And they, they did a decent job with the sculpt on them, on the, thing, on the fingers and the palm of the hand. And the top of the hand looks pretty good too with the uh, bones on the top of the hand there and the knuckles. So you can see the fingernail sculpted on there as well. So they did, I think they did a better job with the open hands compared to the fists. But anyway, that is all the little accessories included with Broccoli. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of the legendary Super Saiyan, to the top of his head, it looks like he's around 7 inches and 3 quarters of an inch tall. Then to the very top of his hair, it looks like he's about 9 inches tall. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Android 16, the SH Figure Arts San Diego Comic-Con Broly, the Max Factory Figma Avengers Hulk, and the Marvel Legends Groot with the SH Figure Arts Rocket on his shoulders. And then here he is compared to the Max Factory Figma Black Swordsman Guts, the Variable Action Heroes Past Blue Zoro, the Storm Collectible Sub-Zero, and the Mesco 112 Deathstroke. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Golden Frieza, the Premium Color Edition Perfect Cell, Goku Black, the San Diego Comic-Con Piccolo, the Saiyan Armor Trunks, and the 2.0 Super Saiyan Vegeta with the Powered Down Head. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and we do actually get some really good movement with this Broly, but I feel like the SH Figure Arts Broly does have superior articulation. Now we do have two joints at the neck. The lower neck joint is just on a hinge, but we do have like a ball bag type joint at the uh, upper neck here. So Broly can only get a tiny bit of forward and back movement there. And this is the most you're going to get him to look up, which is just pretty much looking straight ahead because of course his hair is going to hinder it. Uh, we do get very nice pivot at the upper neck there, as you can see, and then it does swivel. The lower neck joint goes forward a really good amount so you can get Broly to look directly down. Then you can't get him to look up any further so 
pretty good movement combining both those joints at the neck there. Then we do get a point of articulation at the torso here, right under the chest and Broly. He really doesn't crunch forward too much. Does go back a lot, but you see a huge gap right there. So you can maybe go back about that far because you might want to hide the gap. Uh, we do get really nice pivot though at that torso and then it does swivel. The waist here doesn't go forward and back at all, but you can get a little bit of a pivot out of it as you can see there and then it does swivel a tiny bit so okay movement at the waist and the torso now the arms here we do have a butterfly joint so you can move the arms a little bit forward not the best but at least you get some movement there with the butterfly joint and the arms do go out to the sides about 90 degrees then do go up and down we do have the bicep swivel and we do have double jointed elbows that barely make it just 90 degrees there then we do have a ball bag on the wrist so it does swivel and then moves around a tiny bit i do have one issue at the neck though sometimes when i articulate the head forward the faces do tend to fall off and that is something that does irritate me a bit now the skirt piece here is articulated in four different spots so the front piece is on a hinge and a ball peg so you can move it all around and hinge it up and down there so nice movement with that then the two side pieces are on a hinge and a ball peg as well so you can move them all around but sometimes they fall off uh, if you force a little too much articulation as you just saw there then the back piece is on a double uh, hinge as you can see right there so pretty good movement on the uh, skirt pieces now for the legs here the leg joints do shift down a bit so Broly can kick forward about 90 degrees which is definitely good then goes to the back almost 90 degrees then let's see if he can Jean-Claude Van Damme in that back Skirt piece always pops off, which gets irritating as well. And holy crap, Broly can Jean-Claude Van Damme it. So really nice leg movement with this Broly. Then we do get the upper thigh swivel there. We do have a double-jointed knees that... Actually, single-jointed knees, sorry about that. And they bend back about 90 degrees. Then for the ankles here, they do swivel. They hinge up a really good amount. And then they do hinge down decently as well. Then we do get a little bit... A pivot there not the best but it is decent so overall I think we do actually get some really nice movement with this Broly and you're gonna be able to get him into some really good psychopath Broly like poses and I'm about to show you some of them right about now but anyway that is my review of the Bandai figure eye standard model kit Super Saiyan Broly hope you enjoyed it if I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10 I'd have to give it an 8.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did get mine from Ageless Geeks, so you could either check on the website agelessgeeks.com or you can go through their Instagram or you could also go through the Facebook group. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. Thanks for watching. I will see you later.